Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to send all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Wakar, Kadash, Barakatai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect of Israel. This is your boy Azar coming at you with another lesson from the GMS Miami camp. Today I want to go over uh, Isaiah chapter 3, okay? Uh, and starting at the... Um, Starting at the 16th verse, okay? And first of all, I want to name, name this lesson, Women, You Will Be Humbled, okay? Let me rephrase that. Women, you proud women will be humbled. You proud women will be humbled, okay? Um, Yo, yeah, man, especially our Jake women, you know, and the so-called nigga woman, especially the so-called black woman, um, a lot about women walk with pride, man. You know, and I see it every day. I work in the medical, so I, I work somewhat in the medical field. Um, I, I do, uh, you know, my job or whatever. I transport, and <clears throat> when I go pick up some of my clients, um, you know, I go into nursing facilities or whatever, and Jake women, especially the so-called black women, just look down upon upon me when I um. When I come pick up my clients or whatever, you know, sometimes I say, hey, how you doing? Sometimes they don't, they answer me with an attitude or, you know, it's that look on their face like I'm above you, you know. But, you know, the, un the only reason uh, the so-called black women and all also Jake women are have good jobs right now is because Esau put you in power. Esau allowed you to be in power, you know. When Jacob's trouble come, you will be humbled, okay? You will be humbled. I just want to go over some precepts here. We'll go over some Bible verses here, here in um, Isaiah 3, starting at the 16th verse. Moreover, the Lord saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty, and walk with stressed forth necks, and wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go, and making a tinkling, with their feet. Yo, man. Um, you have our Jake women, especially so-called black women. You know. They're haughty. They're prideful. You know. Walk with stretched forth necks. You know, like. They got their nose up in the air like this. Walking around. You know. Walking like they own the world. No. No, bitch. You don't own the world. The only reason you are where you are right now. With your job is because Esau allows you to get that job, you know. Esau knows if he's put if he puts the woman as the breadwinner, you know, that's gonna put Jake down, and then Jake kids are gonna be feminine, feminine, uh, feminine as fuck, especially the boys. I mean, yeah, uh, the girls gonna be feminine, yeah, that's their nature, but what you're pushing is that the the woman is always supposed to be the breadwinner. You know, but that's all right, though, because the most high is going to humble these women in the coming days. OK. OK, they walk with stretched forth necks, man. That's what they do when I pick my clients up in some of these medical facilities. Some of these so-called black women um, have their necks stretched, stretched forth, you know, they could, just because they got it, just because they're nerves and they got to have position or whatever. You know, but listen to this. Okay, therefore the Lord was okay. Verse seventeen. Therefore the Lord was smite with a scalp, with a scalp the crown of the head. So like, let me start at the top. Therefore the Lord was smite with a scalp the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. You know? See, you see some of, the, some of our black women, especially, they have scabs on the top of the head, man. The most I took that glory away from them. You know? You have some nigga women who need weave, who need weave like every other month. They stay with weave in their head. You know? That's because they have a scab right there, man. You know? You know, I don't, I mean, I personally, I don't like dating women with weave in their head, man, because in the summertime, it stinks. 
you know, that heat get to it and you just think, especially when you sweating and all that. No, nah, bro. Mm -mm. No. Okay. In the day of the Lord, in that day, the Lord will, okay, verse 18, in that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of their ornaments about their feet and their calls and their, and their round tires like the moon. So in that day, the Lord will take away your bravery. He's going to take away your bravery to go outside and go prancing in front of men. Because during the day of the Lord, if you do that shit, your ass is going to get raped. And Esau is not going to be able to protect you. Okay? Alright, let's go to uh, verse 19. The chains, the bracelets, and the mufflers, the bonnets, and the ornaments of the legs, and the headbands, and the tablets and earnings, the rings and nose jewels. Okay? See, during the time of Jacob Shepherd, you're not gonna have all that. Okay? You're not gonna be able to wear something so called cute, you know, and go out there and start prancing around in front of men during the time of Jacob Shepherd because your ass might get raped. Hell, you might not even, even if you fully dressed during the time of Jacob Shepherd, you still can get raped. Because in that day, the day of the Lord, hey man, when 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 everything shuts down, when the when when uh the electricity goes off, you know, when there's no food or anything like that, what what as a woman, what can you do to protect yourself? Even even if you are a muscle bound woman, you you you're gonna lose all that muscle doing Jacob's trouble anyway. You know what I'm saying? You might be a bodybuilder or whatever, or you might know martial arts. But sooner or later, it's, it's, it's going to, you know, uh, uh, become a point in time where you're going to have to have a man of the Lord protecting you. And not just though, not just any man, a man of the Lord, you know. And then that's when you women are really going to humble yourselves when that time comes. Okay. All right. Okay. Now let's let me let me go back to verse 18 and then read from 18 to uh to uh let me see 24. Okay. Okay, in that day the Lord will take away the their take away the bravery, bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet and the and their calls and their round tires like the moon. The chains and the bracelets and the mufflers, the bonnets and the ornaments of legs and the headbands and the what's that tablets of the earrings, the rings and nose jewels, the changeable suits of apparel and mantles and the wimples and the crisping pins. The glasses and the fine linen and the hoods of veils. So women, y'all can y'all have a lot taken <laughs> taken away from you, man. You know what I'm saying? You gonna have a lot of stuff that the stuff that makes you beautiful, the stuff that makes you um feel haughty and proud, that's what's gonna be taken away from you, man. Okay. Alright, and it should come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there should be stink. So your pussy's going to stink, you know, during that time of Jacob's shovel. You know, if, if you're not already with the man of the Lord, your pussy's going to be stink, man. And it should come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there should be stink. Instead of a girdle, a rent, rent. And instead of set hair, baldness, baldness. You know, you're not going to be able to go to the weave store no more and buy some weave and put it on your head. You ain't going to be able to go to the uh, Ishmaelite store and, and, and purchase a wig. Nah, nah, it ain't, ain't going to be like that. It ain't going to be like that, you know. Okay, um, and instead of well said hair, baldness, and instead of a stone marcher, a girding of sackcloth and burning instead of beauty. 
that men should fall by thy sword in thy might in thy mighty in the war. You know, yo while your man is like fighting in World War Three somewhere out east, you know, you gonna be here in America, you know, um not knowing what to do because your man is out there fighting. That's that is if you know, and he is gonna die. If he goes out there, he's gonna die. You know? But you women here, when your man goes off to fight, you're going to be left here alone. And you're going to be seeking a man of the Lord. And you will be humble in that day. Okay? Now, verse 26. This is the icing on the cake. And her gate shall be lament and mourn. And she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. So, you're going to be made desolate and you're going to sit upon the ground. And being made desolate and sitting upon the ground is what's going to make you humble. Okay, that's what's going to make you humble. Now, it could be other things, other things that make, oh, that make you humble too. But, yo, yeah, man, when your man goes off to fight, and he's fighting about the, the battle, of, you know, what he, he's in World War Three, you know, and, and he ain't going to come home. I mean, you, you know, you're going to be made desolate, man. You're going to be made so desolate that you're going to sit upon the ground. Alright? So, let me tell you something. You so-called proud and haughty women. Seek a man of the Lord. If you already have a man, try to get your man to uh, get in, you know, persuade him to learn about his truth. Okay? That's what I would do. I mean, well, I'm not a woman, but that's what I suggest, suggest that you do. Alright, all right, y'all, well, this is your boy, Azar, coming at you with another lesson. Till next time, Shalom.